High rarity cards have always been popular in the Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG. Whether it be players blinging out their decks with pretty looking cards, or collectors gathering the cards to show off in their binder or graded slabs. Sometimes these high rarity cards have an earlier print, but were previously commons, rares, or promo cards, making them more easily obtainable and therefore at low value. Later, these cards are reprinted in a higher rarity and they become extremely valuable due to being better versions of a once popular but easily obtainable card. Today, I will be opening some of the most iconic sets that Konami made to reprint original cards in higher rarity. Specific cards we will be searching for are the DD Assailant Secret Rare from Dark Revelation 4. It was first printed as a super rare and included in the Destiny Board Traveler Game Boy Advance game as a promo card guaranteed in every copy of the game. The original version goes for about $5. The Dark Revelation 4 Secret Rare goes for about $250. The Dragon Master Knight from Retro Pack 2. It was first printed as an ultra rare and included in the Ultimate Edition 2 Blister Pack product as a promo card. This original version goes for about $3. The Retro Pack 2 Secret goes for around $500. And finally, the Blue Eye Shining Dragon Secret Rare from Retro Pack 2. It was first printed as a super rare in movie pack, a pack given out to attendees of the Yu-Gi-Oh! The Pyramid of Light movie. If you are watching this video and think you own this Blue Eye Shining Dragon, this is probably the card you own. This original version goes for about $7. The Retro Pack 2 Secret goes for around $1,500. Let's see if we can pull any of them today. All right, guys, welcome to an awesome opening today. Before we actually hop into it, we do have a giveaway. I'm going to be giving away a first edition Battles of Chaos booster box. Yeah, pretty awesome set. So a pretty great giveaway. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know down below your favorite reprint set of all time. I'm going to have what I think are probably the best reprint sets of all time. And uh, yeah, they're really, really nice. This video is sponsored by Raycon. Raycon allows you to spend half the money you would spend on other earbuds for the same, if not better quality. And who doesn't love quality earbuds for a low price. And just because Raycon has low price earbuds, it doesn't mean there aren't awesome features. They have different customizable sound profiles. So you get the perfect one that you enjoy. It has earbud tap functions so that you can adjust the volume and other things while they're in your ears. Noise isolation. Who doesn't need that? Because I mean, my goodness, there's way too many sounds going on in the world these days. And then there's awareness mode. If you need to actually hear some of those sounds, I'd prefer not to. Custom gel tips for the perfect fit in your ear. There's four different sizes. I tend to have a lot smaller smaller ears, so I went way down and they're actually a lot more comfortable than most earbuds I've tried before. And then my favorite thing is the eight hour playtime because there's nothing worse than listening to earbuds and then them dying on you and you're just out of luck. I'm often listening to podcasts as well as music because I'm at home all the time working on videos because I work from home. And then if you ever go to work out, these are really, really great because if you go somewhere in a public place, you're obviously not going to be blaring your music out of your phone. So having these earbuds are really awesome. If you guys are interested in some Raycon earbuds for yourself, click the link in the description box or go to buyraycon.com slash Ruxin for 15% off your purchase. Thanks again to Raycon for sponsoring this video. And the reprint sets that I've chosen for today are Dark Revelation Volume 4. So if you don't know anything about Dark Revelation 4, there was a Dark Revelation 1 through 3, obviously. They were not as popular. They're still pretty cool reprint sets, but they did not contain secret rares. Now, Dark Revelation 4 did contain secret rares, and the secret rares in this set go for a ton of money. We're going to pop up just some of the big ones on the screen, but it's a pretty crazy set. If you do hit a secret rare, I think I've hit one secret rare ever. It might have been like a satellite cannon or something like that. Yeah, so we did hit that satellite cannon for Kaz. That's right. I was like, I don't think I I own that it's because it wasn't mine it was for Kaz we had a secret rare out of Dark Revelation 4 so we're hoping we do that today It'd be pretty crazy then we have of course retro pack 2 one of my favorite sets to open an amazing reprint set contains the blue eye shining dragon Harpy's pet dragon dragon master knight two of three we have pulled let's make the third be pulled in this video dragon master knight I'm talking about you and then finally we have dark legends this is one that is kind of weird because it didn't get the secret rares like the other two so it never really got as popular as the others the cards even though they are reprints the secret rares went crazy and this doesn't have that value like that but there are some really cool uh reprints in here it's basically our version of retro pack but minus the secret rares and since we're doing fun reprints i also threw in some other cool reprints we've had which is like you know legendary collection 25th goes from the past two goes from the past one they're a little mixed up here uh and then we have you know basically a legendary collection 25th anniversary to open up so a lot of awesome reprints so reprint usually means like bad thing kind of boring or whatever but in this case it's really exciting all right so let's start it off with a ghost from the past one we're gonna do dark legends first i think we will do we'll kind of mix in the uh, retro pack 2 
and then of course the uh the other one whatever it's called the uh dark population four there we go we have a uh, gear town we have the evolve flame let's see if we can pull a dark magician here that'd be nice ghost rare very expensive red supernova dragon i feel like that used to be good um but i'm probably not that good anymore i think red supernova was like nine bucks on release but it is not going to be that high anymore there's been a lot of ghosts from the past two open since then let's do three from the back here ninken dog we're going to mix in our dark legends very soon and see our first you know, old school reprint. I think it was 2008 when that one was released, right around when Retro Pack was. Unfortunately, I don't have any Retro Pack 1 Tsukiyomi. That's a good card. And uh, Dark Scorpion Chick the Yellow. Okay. If we had Retro Pack 1, this video would be nuts. But unfortunately, I didn't get my hands on any of that. But maybe in the future, one day I want to open a box of Retro Pack 1. It's very, very hard to find, though. I mean, one of the absolute hardest things to find in Yu Gi Oh! in terms of sealed. All right, we have Tiny Spirit. Very nice. We have the Ghost Trick Mummy. The uh, Waterbeard, or Whitebeard, not Waterbeard, Puppet Queen, and we have a Fossil Machine, Skull Convoy. All right, cool stuff. Let's break into our first blister, which is Dark Legends. All right, let's see if we can pull something cool here. We got a Gores inside, which is also a really cool promo because Gores was a crazy card back then. Uh, that's why it was a promo in both Retro Pack 2 and 4, which I guess that might have been the European. I think the European version got that. Yeah, that makes sense because the European Retro Pack 2, Retro Pack 2 came out in both Europe and the US, while the uh, Retro Pack 1 only came out in, the, in Europe. I can't get this open. So because we got, uh, you know, Dark Legends as well, we got Dark Legends and we got Retro Pack 2. One had Gores, which was Dark Legends for us. And then we got Green Baboon in our Retro Pack 2. And then in Europe, they didn't get Dark Legends. So they just got Gores because much better card than Green Baboon. Okay, let's open our first Dark Legends. See if we can pull anything cool. There is a Blue Eyes in here. I have graded a couple of these before in PSA 10. I have one in my collection at the moment. I don't know what kind of pack trick this is. I'm guessing it's like, we'll do four. I think that's probably pretty safe. We have Guy of the Fierce Knight. A lot of really old school cards in here because this is basically retro pack one and two, which have all those old school cards. We have Karibo. We have the Hain Hain. Gazelle, King of the Mythical Beast. I guess it's more like Retro Pack 1 because we didn't get Retro Pack 1. Painful Choice, we have a Molten Destruction. Yeah, see, it's mostly like MRL cards and stuff like that. Shining Angel, we have Mango Ryuran. The Heels and Rue, no foil or rare yet. Oh, and a Red Eyes Bee Dragon. Look how off center this thing is. Wow, Red Eyes Bee Dragon. So I guess it was fought four from the bag flame swordsman as a common just looks weird even though i think he's a common in star deck yugi so i guess it's not that crazy all right this thing i remember being like really expensive for a rare it was like 15 bucks at one point so hopefully it's still that high all right cool pull let's go back to ghost from the past one see if we can pull anything crazy here let's go ghost rare we have durandal miss valley baby rock the metaphors counter time thief retrograde we have a sun avalon dry a trenchier all right long word right there all right, let's try a two and then we'll do one more and then we'll go for Dark Legends again and see if we can pull something crazy. We have a Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon, cool. Vampire Domination, the Alien Ammonite, Insector Gigamantis, and oh, Time Thief, Timber Wall. No Ghost Rares out of theirs, theirs so far, out of there, I should say. Let's try a Spell Ruler, then we will go back to Dark Legends, which we'll have some Spell Ruler cards inside probably. Here we go, three from the back. Can we get that Blue Eyes Toon Dragon Metal Fish? Electric Snake, Crab Turtle, Hungry Burger, not the reprint. We have the Peacock, Luminous Spark, Whiptail Crow. We have a UFO Turtle and a Malevolent Nuzzler. Okay, Dark Legend time. The lowest end of the big reprint sets that we're opening, but still a pretty cool card. Pretty expensive pack because you really probably have not heard of Dark Legends unless you saw it on my channel because we did do a big opening of this one time. But I remember when I did the opening, like half the comments were like, I've never heard of this pack before. Okay, Giant Soldier of Stone. Trap Hole. Harpy Lady. Very cool. We got Twin Headed Thunder Dragon. Giant Rat. Give us a foil. We have Gaia Power. Painful Choice. Giant Trinade. Pretty crazy. We have Mega Rai Uran. Ruxin special into the Magician of Faith and Gaia the Fierce Knight makes it again. Very cool cards, but no foils in those Dark Legend packs. Okay, back to Ghost from the Past 1. Let's see if we can pull a Ghost Rare. Can we do it? What if we got Dark Magician Ghost Rare and just made... It was our craziest pull of this opening. That'd be pretty funny. Time Thief Double Barrel. Okay, cool card, but not that crazy. What could be crazy, though, is Invasion of Chaos. Here we go. Can we get that Chaos Emperor Dragon? Let's go. Black Luster Soldier. We have Soul Tigre. Terry King Salmon. Chaos Necromancer. Stealth Bird. Ojama Yellow. We have Inferno. Spirit of the Pot of Greed. We have a Berserk Gorilla and Chaos End. All right, so we have not really pulled anything yet. 
So I think it is time to break into the Retro Pack 2 because we have three of these. We have two of the Dark Revelation 4, so we're going to do one Retro Pack before we get into those. Slightly open, but that's okay. We were going to open it up anyway. Let's see if we can get some luck out of here. All right, we have the Green Baboon, which you can pull an unlimited version of this card in the packs. I have pulled one before with Rhyme Style. Same video as when we pulled Exodia First Edition LOB. If you've not seen that video, go check it out. One of the most underviewed videos on my channel, I think, for how good the pulls were. So if you missed it, go check it out. It was during COVID. You know, there's gonna there's a hundred mass comments, so just just watch and enjoy it, okay? All right, retro pack two. Here we go. We could pull the blue eyes shining dragon out of here, which would be extremely exciting. I mean, really, any secret rare is extremely exciting, especially blue eyes shining dragon. D dragon master knight would be my second pick now because I've not pulled that one. Let's do three. I don't remember what it is. We have Gemini elf. This is a very expensive pack, about 180 to 200 bucks, stuff like that. Whew. We have spear message A. No L, please. We have dust tornado, mad sword beast, dark room of nightmare. Spear Dragoon, Lightning Blade. Oh, it's an Alpha the Magnet Warrior, so it is four from the back, just a rare. Oh, the pain of rares today. It's basically been all rares so far. It has not been good. Let's go back to Ghost from the Past 2. Maybe this can bless us with a, a nice pull, you know, not as old, but a nice reprint. Nice Ghost Rare. We have the Sanctum of Parshath. We have Vision Hero. We have a Retaliating Sea and Elemental Hero, Neos Kluger. All right, Pharaoh's Servant is up next. First, Ed. Jinzo, here we go. One, two, three. That was a weird voice. I don't know why I did that. Insect Barrier, here we go. Mr. Volcano, pointy, pointy finger man. Eye of Truth. Dark Fire Soldier, numero dos. Attack and receive. Spike Bot. Will we get that Jinzo? Monster Recovery. And. Ah! the fiend mega cyber a foil has been pulled guys let's go so exciting because uh our only foils so far were promos that were guaranteed now let's try a dark revelation volume four can we hit any foil out here some of these foils are randomly really expensive like super rare is like 100 bucks for no reason so let's see if we could potentially get one of those oh i destroyed the pack didn't mean to do that destroyed the pack it's rough it's rough i think it's it's definitely in the middle of the pack but i don't know exactly where one two three I'm just gonna do four. There's a lot of cards in these, but four should be fine. DD Trap Hole. There's some big GX cards inside. We want DD. I really want DD Assailant Secret Rare. That's what I want. We have Branch. We have Oja Muscle. Transcendent Wings. Layard, the Liberator. Infernal Incinerator. The Patroid. It could come up anytime in this pack. We have Elemental Hero Bubble Man. Could be this. Oh, VW Tiger Catapult. Okay. It might be this one. I, that kind of looks like a foil. Wait. That kind of looks like a foil. I'm going to do this. Okay, we have a Shattered Axe. Hopefully it is a foil. That'd be great. Chthonian Blast. I think I was right. We have a VW Tiger Catapult. Same thing that scared me earlier. Here we go. Give us a foil. Oh, a Ruined clean up. Queen of Oblivion. Very nice. It is a queen. I did not know this came in a super, which is kind of weird because it normally comes in a super in Shadow of Infinity. But this is definitely the more valuable version. I had no idea this came in super, so it's actually really cool. All right, we cannot be mad about that. A foil out of Dark Revelation 4 is a good start for the rest of our packs. Still some packs left. I wonder what that ruin's worth. I'm guessing not too much because there is a super rare version as well already. But, you know, you never know. We have Zombie. Give us that Ghost Rider Domain. We have Crimson Knight and... Odd Eyes Rebellion Dragon Overlord. Okay, nothing too crazy there. You know what could be crazy? Metal Raiders. Pequeno Moth, here we go. Bless us with your presence, Pequeno. We have Guardian of the Labyrinth, Lego, Blackland Fire Dragon, Mega Thunderball, Yaru Karu, Oguchi. We have Shadow Ghoul, and we have a Black Skull Dragon. Yes, it's not the Beast Skull Dragon. It is now the Black Skull Dragon. All right, ultra rare from our newer reprint packs, but hey, reprint packs still coming in clutch. Okay, Retro Pack 2, we've got a couple more, two more to be in fact, to be in fact, that is, <laughs> that's not the way you say that. Okay, here we go, Retro Pack 2. Have the Shining Dragon, just simply have it. Here we go, one, two, three, four. It was four last time, okay. Barrel Behind the Door, common. Spear Message Eye, Parasite, Parasite. Oh, that's a Ruxin Special, first of the day, maybe second of the day. Emergency Provisions, we have Gravity Bind. Gilosaurus, free special summon. Thousand Eyes Idol, and we have, no, two more. Insect Imitation, and we have a Alpha again! Why do you troll us like this? Double Alpha, oh, pain and suffering. Okay, that hurt, don't worry. We've got a couple more packs. Let's go Ghost from the Past 2 here, and we'll finish it off with a couple of big, big opening. We have uh, Hella, we have Onomaraki, we have Insector Gigamantis, Infernity Pawn, and 
Alpha's Dragon. Okay, those goes from the past two. Not Clutch, as usual. Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon. I should probably introduce you real quick. One of the coolest reprints. If you've not seen my video where I opened every Legend of Blue Eyes pack, go check it out. We opened from all the way from reprints to first dead pack. Two of those in the same video. So go check that out. Come on. One, two, three. Give us something big. These reprints have been good for us, these uh, legendary collections so far. Dark Gray, Dragon Treasure, Umi. King Fog, make sure to let me know down below your favorite reprint sets of all time. We have Machine Conversion Factory, we have Arm Ninja, and we have a right leg of the Forbidden One, Exodia Obliterate. All right, Exodia looking good. We have two more packs left. Retro Pack 2, Dark Revelation Volume 4. I always want that shining, so I'm going to save that for the end. DD Assailant would also be really cool. You, I guess you can get... I think this is an ultra in here. I don't know about Raviel. I'd be cool with either of those. That'd be a nice pull. I've never pulled a Sacred Beast. It'd be ironic to pull one out of a Dark Revelation 4. One, two, four. I think it was six or something. Wasn't it six? We'll do five. Here we go. Super Junior Confrontation. Elemental Recharge. Chthonian Alliance. Come on, send us the luck in the comments. Guys, we have Sheehan Spy. That was not quite a Ruxin special. Almost, but not quite. Trial of the Princesses. We have Reborn Zombie. Mad Lobster! Whoa! A gourmet food renowned by the Dark World Upper Crust. It has sensational flavor. If you can taste him, he has 1700 attack though. We have Guard Dog. He's going to be guarding that lobster. DD Guide. We've got a Death Frog. This might be it coming up next. Soitsu, no! What is it next? Oh, a Rising Energy Rare! All right. Hey, we went one for two out of those. I really can't complain. And our final chance at glory. Retro Pack 2, Dragon Master Knight, Blue Eyes Shining Dragon. Those are what I'm asking from you right now. I would also take a Jinzo Ultra Rare. I would be okay with that as well. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Retro Pack 2, we've gotten two Alpha the Magnet Warriors. Can you please stop doing that? Mask of Restrict, Bazoo the Soul Eater, Four Star Lady Book of Doom. That's a Ruxin special, almost. Tornado Wall, Guardian Sphinx, Gravekeeper's Assailant. Come on. Premature Burial. Lighting Blade and our final card of the reprint opening. If you've enjoyed it, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content. Here we go. Oh, a Lava Golem. It's a super. We'll take it. That is better than a rare. Way to end it on a nice super rare foil. But we did not get our money back, for sure. Shout out to Tom Flo Show, Daxer, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Dienda, Micycle, America Doyster, Supreme Sage 21, and Undertai Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, and Mimic Echo. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.